on Horror Network. Hey guys, welcome back to Mercury Monday Music Reviews, where we are chillin' vibes, chillin' tunes. I'm your host, Rebecca. I come to you every Monday with a music review. We sit, we chill, we relax, we vibe, we listen to music, and then we rate it. So if that sounds interesting to you, come hang out. All right, so this week I had the bright idea, um, inspired by my husband's TikTok that he sent me. Um, it was about Christian bands and, you know, how there's like, um, uh, not as hard and harder Christian bands, right? So I was like, oh my God, hey, I know a couple of them. I didn't realize they were Christian. So I thought, um, why not do some Christian bands till Easter Monday, Easter Monday, and um, I'll create a little wheel of Christian bands, like maybe the ones that I knew, but I didn't know that they were Christian, and then um, maybe some uh, new, old, I don't know, I don't know, I was just gonna find some, put them on the wheel, spin, and grab the next couple of Mondays, so... Let's give that a shot. Let's find some bands and put them on a wheel and let's see what happens. All right, all you Lamb of Gods out there. If you thought that you weren't listening to Christian and you didn't have Jesus in your heart, you might have a big surprise coming, okay? So we're going to go down this list and we're going to put them in the wheel of names. So we've got the Skillet Fly Leaf Red Stripe by Thousand Foot Crotch, Demon Hunter, Twelve Stones, Under Oath, Fire Flight, Cutlass, Disciple, The Devil Wears Prada, uh, Decipher Down, Pillar, Wolves of the Gate, Fit for a King, and We as Human. Those are the ones going on the wheel. We are going to put them on, spin, and see what we Okay, so we put everything on the list. On the wheel, we're going to spin and see what it lands on. Disciple. All right, let's uh look these people up and uh, see what we can find. All right, so I'm just going to go straight from this wiki here that I see. Um, so they're an American Christian rock band from Knoxville, Tennessee, formed in 92. The group has released 12 studio albums, three extended plays, one live extended play, and one compilation album. Hold on. I already vibed and, uh, also, vibe, right? Anyway, um, cheers, everybody. So, anyway... Origin, Knoxville, Tennessee. They are t- considered to be Christian metal, hard rock, alternative metal. 92 to present. Labels are Slain, Rugged, I and O, Tooth and Nail. We've got members Kevin Young, Josiah Prince, wow, uh, Joey West, and Andrew Stanton. Then we got some past memories, which is a lot that I can't handle right now. And then they do have a website, uh, discipleRocks.com. Let me click on that real quick. Let's see if it works. It works. Here they are. I 
keep wanting to call it discipline. That's not right. All right, so that's a little bit about the band. Let's uh, find an album. After that, I had to make sure it was <laughs> Disciple. That is, I, that is it. All right, looks like I'm just going to do Disciple album. Uh, fifth album released by Christian Rock Group Disciple on June 7th, 2005. When the single The Wait Is Over was released, it broke several records in Christian music including the longest spot at number one on the R&R charts. Good for freaking them. Um, Lakeside Studios, Christian Metal, Alternative Metal, 45 minutes long, I-N-O, Travis, producer. So that's 2005. This is Disciple. Almost said discipline again. Let's pick one of the songs. I'm not going to be vibing again, but <clears throat> vibe. Cheers. Okay. Let's get back to it. Um... I left for a second, <laughs> but now we were at trying to find a song, so hold on one second. Alright, I think I finally found a song <clears throat> that is not on, that is on YouTube, that's on the album. So, here I go. Let's take the earbud out and let's play. Hold on. Okay. That was good. That sounds like something I would listen to. And then the words are clearly Jeebus. But um, as a kid, if I would have heard it on the radio, I wouldn't immediately think like, oh, this is Christian Rock. I would not. Mm -mm. It was good. Um, I think I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised with a lot of these. Um, and is why um they were popular or good or whatever. I don't even know. I don't even know this one specifically, but I'm reading the lyrics right now. And um. Yeah, I think that's really good. Some good stuff. So, if you ever thought that you were not holy and with one, but you did listen to Disciple, you were fine. You are fine. Okay. It's very holy. Holy Jesus music. Um, And very good. 
I would say. So, I don't know. It just, it just sounds like classic, um, some classic music, rock, you know. It's good. I'll probably listen to some other shit. So, um, let's move on to rating. I jokes about American band fans, greater record singers. I can't go to an airport, I can't walk to a shopping mall without somebody yelling, Hey Dick, got a great beat, easy to dance to. I'll give it a song to. Don't mind my hair today. I don't know what's happening. Um, all right, let's get, let's do a uh, Jesus scale. Shall we? Um... Um, I, I guess let's do it out of five. So I would give this a uh, five Jesus's three Hail Marys. And I would call it a day. It goes good. Um, I definitely want to give uh, some other things a listen. I feel like not all... I don't know. Some of those Christian bands that I wrote down, I feel like not all of them did all Christian music or it just didn't sound like it or I just didn't know. I didn't really pay attention as a kid, you know what I mean? Um, if it just sounded good and I liked it, I just sang it and it was great. Um, but that goes on the offensive end as well, not just a religious end. Um, sometimes looking back on certain songs and things that I listen to, I'm like, that's really bad. Um, so yeah, happened on all ends. Um, just didn't know, just didn't realize. Um, so that's going to be a lot of, uh, this next couple of, uh, Mondays, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see where the rest of the Mondays take us. And, um, yeah, that's it for that. Definitely five out of five Jesuses, uh, some Hail Marys. And, um, yeah, let's, uh, go on to socials. So... I am on Murky Monday Music Reviews, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the things. Riffing on Horror is all the things as well. Excuse me. I really don't know what's going on with my bangs. But, um... Yeah, hit us up. Murky Monday Music Reviews at gmail.com is the best way to get me because none of my Facebooks and stuff are working. It's acting really weird. Um, so just do that. Um, I really need to just start posting some of my shit and selling it because I'm getting a lot of backup. Um, but so if you just want to support the channel, I'm probably just going to do like my own, um, Facebook page for it and sell it on there and just do it through like a cash app. So like if you have cash app, PayPal type situation and you want to help me make some moonies, um, yeah, help me out, plus, um, yeah. And then I'm just going to be sitting here creating, um, doing some more stuff, more videos, still trying to get a good setup going on here. I'm still teetering back and forth between shit, but, um, that's it for now. So I will see you guys next Monday. Um, stay sane and catch y'all on the flip side. Uh...